of AKS IAS Academy. And about me, I am Sandeep Bhushan Thumala and my credentials are I have 10 years of teaching experience for civil services. I teach international relations and internal security and along with that I go ahead with the analysis of the Hindu newspaper. And this session will certainly be helpful because throughout my session I would be emphasizing on the keywords and the key phrases from the newspaper and by emphasizing on the keywords and the key phrases we will identify the factual analytical and conceptual questions for the prelims examinations and while you imbibe the keywords and the key phrases in your answer writing you can also score higher marks in the mains examinations so therefore this session will be helpful for you in regards to scoring higher marks in the mains 2020 as well as it will be useful for you to crack prelims and mains 2021 so do follow the entire session of the AKSIS Academy daily news analysis which you will be certainly benefited and this session is in regards to the daily news analysis of the Hindu newspaper that is of today's of 14th of November 2020 and now before we get into the DNA we would look at the quote of the day and the quote of the day is we may encounter many defeats but we not but we must not be defeated so definitely there are defeats or we may encounter various defeats but we should not be defeated and we should move forward what we have the short term and the long term goals and then be successful in life and before I get to the DNA, I would say a very good morning to all. Good morning to all in or in the live and also in the live chat. Good morning to Gauri Naidu, Harika, David, and then David. Good morning to a happy Diwali to everyone. So now we will start up the daily news analysis. And the news which talks about is that there would be the COVID-19 patients would be having more of problem because of the air pollution and added to the air pollution it is a cold so both the air pollution and cold would be as a lethal pair attacking the covid 19 patients and that would be more of impact in regards to the morbidity and the mortality of the covid 19 patients across the country and more specifically the doctors in the national capital region has warned that because of the increase of the air population and because of the exhaustion that means not much or shortage of the medical stuff and because of the stressed health infrastructure there is definitely that we need to get into the mode of an appropriate that is covid appropriate behavior and that is a must now it is a need of the r is covid appropriate behavior so that this behavior only will get into the mode of containing the spread of SARS-CoV-2 virus because of the high levels of air pollution and a shortage of the medical stuff and stressed health infrastructure as these are into the negative trend what is very important that we need to get into the mode is that to have the COVID appropriate behavior COVID appropriate behavior is the need of the hour to contain the virus and definitely because of the low temperatures the particulate matter that is pm particulate matter will definitely be suspended in the air itself because of the low temperature the pm will be suspended in the air and it will be for a longer period of time and when the particulate matter is suspended in the air and it will be longer period of time in the air what will happen is the pm particulate matter which is for a longer period of time in the air will increase the transmissibility of the coronavirus or SARS-CoV-2 virus and thereby more number of people would be morbidity and that might cause to mortality and that is what the doctors are very clearly specifying that we need to get into the mode of COVID appropriate behavior which is in regards to the following the guidelines by the health ministry that is the central and the state health ministry making sure that we are wearing masks and then social distancing is the need of the art that is covid appropriate behavior this is the keyword what you need to focus that you can add the keyword in your short notes for your mains examinations and this one i joined warm welcome to you this one 
and definitely Delhi and its surrounding northern states that is Haryana, Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan which are among the 10 states which are reported 76 percentage or 86 or 80 percentage of the COVID-19 cases across the country is definitely that they need to get into the COVID appropriate behavior to contain the SARS-CoV-2 virus and definitely the public health behavior is extremely crucial for the another 8 to 10 days then that extreme or covid appropriate behavior or public health behavior or public health behavior or covid appropriate behavior will definitely decide the fate of india's covid wave wherein delhi is now experiencing the third wave in the country and definitely the delhi is the first worst state and then followed by definitely Tamil Nadu and then the Andhra Pradesh is there and across the country we have 547 COVID fatalities that is the death case which have been reported in the past 24 hours and there are new cases of 44,878 but the recoveries are 81,15,580 and the discharges from the hospitals are almost close to 50,000 that is 49,079 so definitely the fatalities, new cases, recoveries reported and then discharges are the one which you need to take into consideration while you are focusing the keywords in regards to the COVID-19 pandemic diseases. So definitely this is the I mean COVID appropriate behavior and then public health behavior is the need of the hour and that will decide the fate of India's COVID wave which would take up in another 8 to 10 days because of the festive season and then because of the winter season both colliding together or both coming together festive season and the winter season that might really make sure that the, this, this scenario might throw out or compromise on the social distancing and wearing of the mask and thereby there could be a spread of virus so that is the public health behavior and COVID appropriate behavior are essential and need of the hour. And the next news is that there are path firing which is being taken up across the L LOC between India and Pakistan and 11 of them have been died and among them 6 are civilians. So definitely out of 11 in regards to the path firing across the LOC in the Jammu and Kashmir that is the valley region, there are six civilians and four army soldiers and one bsf jawan have been killed and various around 20 others have been injured in this ceasefire violation which has been violated by pakistan along the loc and that ceasefire violation has been taken up by pakistan along the loc in four districts of jammu and kashmir on november 13. so the the keyword here is ceasefire violation that means cease means stop so you need to stop the firing but actually this is the ceasefire agreement between india and pakistan along the loc you have the ceasefire agreement but what has happened is now ceasefire violation has taken up by pakistan and fired onto the indian soil that is in jammu and kashmir especially on the four districts of jammu and kashmir and that is in Dawar, in Bandipur, Keran, in Kupwara districts, Uri and then Naugam in Baramulla districts in the Kashmir Valley and thereby ceasefire violation has taken place between India and Pakistan and that is from Pakistan side along the LOC of India and Pakistan and definitely army has gone ahead with damaging ammunition dumps of Pakistan and various multiple terrorist launch pads were being damaged by Indian Army and Indian Army has released videos which have showed that mortars hitting the damaging Pakistani bunkers along the LOC. So you can see this in the figure that is in the newspaper that Indian Army has released videos wherein we have hit or targeted the Pakistani bunkers which are along the LAC and they are firing from the bunkers onto the Kashmir side that is Jammu and Kashmir onto the Indian side in the four districts of Bandipur, Kupwara, Uri and Baramulla districts and this is important because the ceasefire agreement and ceasefire violations are the keyword which you need to focus between India and Pakistan 
and there is another news which the supreme court has held or given a judgment in regards to what employer can be or can be free to reject any over qualified aspirant so what is important here is over qualified so definitely the supreme court says that now the employer or the company has the discretion of not to appoint a candidate not to appoint a candidate wherein that particular candidate would be having an higher qualification please do understand suppose if x person is there and he has applied for position a applied for position a suppose this x person's qualification is highly qualified or he is highly qualified then what is required for a position so definitely the employer can go ahead with making sure that he can he does not or he need not appoint the candidate and that is what the supreme court has held that the employer's discretion to appoint or not to appoint that when a candidate is having higher qualification to the prescribed job but the supreme court says that the one job which has been i mean the candidate which has been prescribed for the job not for the job vacancy he can apply but he cannot be disqualified i mean the higher qualification is to the discretion of the employer itself we will look at why this news why it is in news in regards to the over qualified aspirant is disqualified by the employer and this is the judgment made by the bench which is led by ashok bhushan and wherein the bench has made it very clear that courts have limited judicial review this is a keyword the court has made it very clear that the courts have the limited judicial review over the decisions of the employer so look at it that is why the employer has the discretionary powers of whether to appoint or not to appoint a candidate based on the qualification or can reject a candidate because the candidate is of higher qualification and that is what the courts have made it very clear the courts have the limited judicial review and definitely the courts are also making it very clear the prescription of qualification for a post the prescription for the qualification of the post is a matter of recruitment policy as it is a matter of recruitment policy and that decision can be taken up by only the employers that is the organization and the discretion lies with the employer itself and this is the basic understanding of what the supreme court has held in regards to the over qualified aspirant can be rejected and that is as per the discretion or of, of the employer and the matter is pertaining to the recruitment policy and the courts have very limited judicial review on the decision made by the employees in regards to the recruitment policy and it is for the employee to decide and determine the relevance and suitability so definitely it is the employers who can decide the relevance and the suitability of the qualification for the post and the court says it is not the courts which will consider and access in regards to the relevancy and the suitability of the qualification for any post by the employer which is decides and it is as per the or it is up to the discretion of the employers to decide the relevancy and the suitability of the qualification for any post and it is not the supreme courts or any courts to consider and access and now we will look at manala has also um, ramesh has also joined very good morning to you and now we will look at why this has come into or why supreme court has taken this decision because the judgment has come up with the supreme court because there was an appeal which was filed by the punjab national bank this is very important understanding the punjab national bank has appealed to the supreme court in regards to the judgment which has been made against or else a judgment made by the orissa high court against the punjab national bank that they have not appointed a person who was over qualified i repeat once again the judgment of the the judgment of the supreme court is because an appeal was filed by the punjab national bank 
because Punjab National Bank which has actually taken up this case or else the Orissa High Court has rejected the Punjab National Bank that it did not appoint the person based on giving the reason that the person was overqualified. So, Orissa High Court was against the decision of Punjab National Bank not appointing a candidate because he was he or she was overqualified. And now, when Punjab National Bank has appealed to the Supreme Court, to the Supreme Court, then the Supreme Court has taken a decision that the employee itself has the discretionary powers and that is as per the recruitment policy and the Supreme Court has set aside the Orissa's High Court decision wherein Orissa High Court in the year 2019 has asked the Punjab National Bank to provide a job as a peon in the bank to the candidate who has applied for the job of peon but the Punjab National Bank in the year 2019 has rejected or it has not accepted the person for the position of job for peon because he was overqualified but Orissa High Court wanted Punjab National Bank to appoint a person even though he was overqualified for the post of peon thereby Punjab National Bank has approached the Supreme Court or appealed to the Supreme Court and Supreme Court has in turn said that it is the employer's discretionary powers in regards to appointing a person for the job and it is as per the recruitment policy and it noted that that is the court also has noted that the candidate here has deliberately not disclosed look at it this is the crucial information why the Supreme Court is saying that the employer's discretionary powers because in the case of the job as a peon in the Punjab National Bank, the candidate had deliberately not disclosed the fact that he was a graduate. Means when he was applying, when he has applied for the peon in the Punjab National Bank, he did not disclose that he was a graduate. In fact, he was a graduate but he did not disclose he was a graduate but it was known later on and that is why Punjab National Bank has not appointed the person who has applied for the job of peon even though he has cleared it but he did not disclose that he was a graduate and that is what being a graduate is now overqualified overqualified in regards to the qualification which is required for a job for a peon so definitely here the Orissa High Court decision Punjab National Bank and the Supreme Court judgment and there is another news which is in regards to the air quality in Delhi is Detroit today who says is suffer so what is suffer here again which is important for prelims perspective so, suffer means it is a system of air quality and weather forecasting research. So, it is a government run monitoring agency that is suffer which is called a system of air quality and weather forecasting and research and this has predicted that the air quality in Delhi will Detroit. Detroit that is it will be very poor especially the air quality will be very poor even that is today that is November 14th even though there is without any emission from the firecrackers or there would be very minimal emission from the firecrackers but even though the government run monitoring agency suffer has said the quality of air in Delhi is to Detroit is to very badly come down and another board that is Central Pollution Control Board has also made it very clear the air quality of Delhi, Noida and Gurugaon will be continued to be as a very poor that is category on November 13th and on 14th because of the festival that is Diwali even though there is no emission of firecrackers suffer a government run monitoring agency says that it will be very poor category itself and you have another one which is called as 
commission on air quality management there is a management which is called as commission on air quality management which has said that on november 13th the caqm has directed the states that is to the states of north indian states to strictly implement the ngt orders that is national green tribunal orders to control the pollution including the ban on firecrackers and along with that this stubble burning which is in punjab haryana and then uttar pradesh also so this will definitely add to the poor quality in delhi so what are the keywords what you need to focus for prelims perspective is cscb that is central pollution control board suffer system of air quality and weather forecasting and research which is the government run monitoring agency and you have another management on air quality that is called as commission on air quality and the other one which you need to focus is national green Trib tribunal so these are the keywords which you need to focus which are related to the air quality that is environment which will be very useful for prelims as well as mains examination and madhu has joined a warm welcome to you madhu to aksi second unit daily news analysis and this is the statistics which is now given that is the one which is high air quality which is very bad is definitely in ghaziabad 382 and then followed by you have 339 delhi and then 337 noida 336 greater noida and then gurugaon 324 faridabad and this in regards to the air quality index and we have looked at what is the whether it is good satisfactory or all that so we have the good which has 0 to 50 satisfactory 51 to 100 if it the air quality is 101 to 200 then it is moderate 201 to 300 it is poor 301 to 400 it is very poor and then greater than 400 it is severe and this is as i said in the previous classes this could be a question in regards to the match the following for prelims upsc perspective for prelims upsc perspective this question could be asked air quality index on the left side and then this is in regards to the what you have whether it is category you have it on the right side category so air quality index category and then you have three four and then match the following match the following so definitely you need to consider this for the perspective upsc prelims question and there is another news which talks about there is a dispute between assam and nagaland and we did i mean there was news the border dispute between assam and mizoram last couple of days we had this border issue with assam with mizoram now the border issue has further shifted to the adjoining areas of mizoram state to nagaland also so now assam has a border row with mizoram and nagaland this is very important from northeastern states the kind of issue that is border issue between or border issue or border row between assam mizoram and assam nagaland and five organizations based in assam that is assam's karbi anglong district now these people are definitely getting into the mode of trying to have their shift from situation wherein they are trying to threaten to impose an economic blockade against nagaland so definitely nagaland is trying to have or trying to encroach nagaland he is now trying to encroach upon few areas specifically in the dal dali research forest this is a keyword for prelims perspective in regards to the forest reserves dal dali reserves forest which is in karbi anglong district and the nagaland or nagas who are the tribals of Lota and Tangul? Lota and Tangul tribes from the Nagaland are encroached into the Daldabi Reserve Forest, which is in Karbi Anglong district of Assam, by removing pillars. And this, the Nagaland and Assam has a boundary of 512 
kilometers between Assam and Nagaland. So what is that is you need to focus is Nagaland is encroaching into the Daldia D Daldali Reserve Forest in Karbi Anglong districts. So this is a major one. And the response to that is fire organization and in Assam, which is or based in Karbi Anglong, they are threatening that they would impose an economic blockade against Nagaland because Nagaland or Nagas that is Lota and Tankul tribes are encroaching into the reserve forest. This is a crucial information for prelims also which Assam and Nagaland have 512.1 kilometer border between both the states. And definitely there are similar reports of encroaching even in another reserve forest that is Desoy Valley Reserve Forest in the Assam Jorhat district. So in the Jorhat district and then in the Karbi Anglong district. So you have Karbi Anglong district and this is the Jorhat district. So both in both the districts Nagas are definitely Nagas are definitely that is the tribes are encroaching into the Jorhat and Karbi Anglong districts and definitely Nagaland government is straightforwardly denying any kind of illegal occupation by the tribes of Nagaland into the Assam and if you look at the past also since 1965 there is a dispute between Assam and Nagaland that is boundary issue and around 350 people have lost their lives and majority of them are Assam is since 1965. So certainly there is a boundary issue between Nagaland and Assam and prior to Na Assam and Nagaland, Assam and Mizoram was definitely an issue which was seen in the last week. Now we will focus this from geography map base. So you have Karbi and Long district here and you have North Kochar, Kokrajar, Dibru and all this Dibrugar. Okay, fine. But what is important is now the Jorhat district and this is Assam and Assam had issues, the border issue with Mizoram and Nagaland. So where is Mizoram? It is here. The capital city is Aiswal and then Nagaland, Kohima and you have another, I mean other states which is Manipur and then Meghalaya, Tripura. What is important for prelims perspective here is from geography map based you will have the match the following questions given the states and then the capitals you will have states and the capitals of northeastern states for match the following you will have the states and the capital cities so nagaland is koima we feel that we know all this but in the spur of moment in the examination all this is what happens we might commit a mistake that means the civil servant aspects that is why this which is the border issue between Assam and Nagaland but we will again focus it from geography map base in regards to the possibility of the questions being framed in math the following so Nagaland is Koima, Manipur is Imphal, Mizoram is Aiswal Tripura, Agartala, Meghalaya, Shillong, Assam, Itanagar. So definitely you need to focus from geography map based also. Which will be very very useful from prelims perspective. And there is a new species which has been discovered that is called as wine snakes. And the team of researchers from Center for Ecological Sciences and Indian Institute of Science. So both the I mean researchers from CES and IISC have discovered new species that is wine snakes in the peninsular India in the peninsular India and these are commonly known as or they are common snakes in the peninsular India which are in peri-urban areas of western Ghats. so wine snakes are definitely present in the western Ghats and IISC that is a team of researchers and IAC that is Indian Institute of Science has released four distinct small bodies and short nose. So how are the wine snakes? They are small, they are small bodied and short nosed species 
and you have the four species which have been released by the IISC that is the team of researchers wherein they have discovered in the peninsular India especially in the western Ghats and the four distinct wine snakes are called as Hayatola borelis and then Hayatola Fransworthy, Hayatola Malabarika and Hayatola Isabellina which are definitely present in the western Ghats rainforest alone so which are the one which are present in the or in the western Ghats rainforest are the these four distinct which are small bodied and they have short nosed species along with these four there are other two wine snake species that is Ayatula Travancorica which is in Travancore and then Ayatula Disper which is also called as Gunthes wine snake and this have been separated based on the morphology and based on the geographic barrier please do understand the conceptual here they are separated based on the morphology of this species and the geographic barriers and this the one which is named as Ayatula Fransworthy is named by the scientists or named after the scientist that is Dr. Hubert Fransworth. So definitely this can be again from Prim's perspective from Prim's perspective that the Hayatula Fransworthy has been named after which among the following scientists that is Dr. Hubert Fransworthy and in total now there are six species of wine snakes which are endemic which are particularly found only in western Ghats western Ghats. So this along with us we have another news is in regards to a new fish has been found in Kaval Tiger Reserves Kaval Tiger Reserves and it bears that means it has the name of the state that is Telangana state so it is found a new species is discovered in the hill stream of Kaval Tiger Reserves that is KTR and this is the first vertebrates to have the name of a state that is Telangana and it is now called as Indoronectes Telangana Nessis. So this is the name of the new species of fish or loach which is found in the Kaval Tiger Reserves and this is distinct by the pectoral fins and it has a long head, large eyes and a nasal barbell reaching from the middle of the eye to the and a number of distinguishing features so these are the features of the new species that is Indoronectus Telangana Nessis which has these qualities and this can be again for the prelims perspective and this is part of the Godavari river basin that is the new species Indoronectus Telangana Nessis is part of the Godavari river basis but it does not flow into the main river it does not flow it is only part of the river basin of Godavari but does not flow into the main river directly and this was discovered by a research team led by Krishnabasad Kante by the Uni Usmani University and they are definitely trying to claim the new species based on the DNA analysis information this is the keyword based on the DNA analysis information of the new species they have claimed that it is a new one that is the one which has been named after Telangana state Indoronectus Telangana sis so this is the one and this actually the clone loach loaches are native to inland waters of Southeast Asia but now they are discovered in the Godavari river basin please do understand this will be important for prelims perspective from environment or in regards to the flora and the clone flora and fauna they are shorter bodies generally the clone loaches which are in southeast Asia are pinkish fins and tails but the one which has been discovered in Godavari Basin is less colorful but they are longer body wherein the one which are present in Southeast Asia are shorter bodies 
but the one which has been discovered in Telangana that is Godavari river basin is longer body with bands of black these are the black bands of black so this is the one which has been discovered by the researchers of Usmania University and this it is in the Kaval Tiger Reserves of North Telangana of North Telangana and there is another news which talks about the Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed confidence on the WHO and he has said that WHO will certainly or soon become the global center for traditional medicine this is the keyword global center for traditional medicine in India so the keyword here is global center for traditional medicine and he is very confident that it will become the center for global wellness as India WHO will become the center for global wellness as India has emerged as the pharmacy of the world so India is now the pharmacy of the world and the confidence which is being put forth by the Prime Minister on to the WHO is that WHO will certainly become the center for global wellness that is global center for traditional business and Mr. Modi has dedicated two Ayurveda institutions to the nation to the nation this is again very crucial information for the prelims perspective or when you are talking about the traditional medicine which will be part of the mains examination you can write that that prime minister has dedicated to ayurveda or future which are ready to be ayurveda institutions have been dedicated to the nation that is the two ayurveda institutions will be in jaipur and jamnagar and he has dedicated these two ayurveda institutions to the nation on the occasion of fifth ayurveda day on the fifth ayurveda day and the two are that is itra of jamnagar from gujarat that is institute of teaching and research in ayurveda and the other one is nia of jaipur from rajasthan that is national institute of ayurveda so one from rajasthan the other from gujarat that is jamnagar gujarat jaipur from rajasthan and these are the both premier institutions of ayurveda these are the two premier institutions of ayurveda and definitely recently we have seen the jamnagar institute of teaching and research in ayurveda has been conferred the status of institution of national importance by an act of parliament recently and the other one which is of the jaipur that is national institute of ayurveda has been designated as a deemed university by the university grants commission and this is as per the ayush ministry so the two ayurveda institutions institu ayurveda institutions which have been dedicated to the nation are institute of teaching and research in ayurveda of jamnagar and the other one is national institute of ayurveda and definitely now the government is focusing and it will support the who's efforts to implement the traditional map medicine strategy of 2014 to 2023 and the center aims to support various countries in developing policies which are in the mode of developing policies and actions plan so that this policies and action plan will strengthen the role of traditional medicine and the who will become the who will become the global tradition medicine as india is now the pharmacy of the world so definitely the two ayurveda institutions which have been dedicated to the nations has the importance as well as who also has the importance for who being set up as global center for traditional medicine in india and now we will look at the recapitulation of the DNA. We have looked at the air pollution, which is again in regards to the prelims point of view, air quality index and the category, which is very crucial information for the prelims perspective. And this 
we have looked at in regards to the the ceasefire agreements between india and pakistan and the ceasefire violation between india and pakistan along the loc in four districts of jammu and kashmir and this is in regards to the supreme court verdict saying that the employer has the right over or has the discretionary over the recruitment policy so this is in regards to the recruitment policy and here we have looked at orissa high court and then punjab national bank and then the supreme court orissa high court supreme court and then punjab national bank and this air quality is certainly again very important we have looked at suffer caqm and then pollution control board how they actually get into the mode of trying to reduce the pollution and increase the air quality in delhi and also in the northern states of india and this is again in regards to the the border issue between assam and mizoram and assam and nagaland so we have looked at the anglong karbok anglong district and also jorhat district also this is in regards to the snakes we have that is biospheres we have looked at snakes and also fishes at kaval tiger reserves in telangana and it is the first vertebrate which has been named under the state name that is telangana and this in regards to the traditional medicine how who this is in regards to the united nations body we have focused how the who would be soon be made as a global traditional medicine in india so i hope this session was very very important a knowledgeable session because we have focused on eight issues today which are very very crucial for prelims as well as mains examinations so i would say that this session will certainly help you for prelims as well as mains and you will certainly have an edge over others and i would say a very big thank you to all and good luck for your future preparation and for the exams of the mains and also for prelims and then i reiterate my statement do have consistency in your preparation do stick to your schedule take care of your physical health and mental health and then do like the video share the video and subscribe the aks ias academy english medium youtube channel and then do visit the aks ias academy website and then also subscribe the telegram link of aks ias academy that is advanced knowledge system and see you again at 7:30 am that is on tuesday that is on tuesday today is saturday sunday monday and we will have the daily news analysis on tuesday 7:30 am and i would say a happy deepavali to everyone and thank you very much thank you and happy diwali to all and i hope and i hope the aks ias academy daily news analysis is certainly providing you better information and a knowledgeable session it would be thank you thank you very much